game, so... Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. does Timmy Monster Pocket live next door to a driving range? Why are golf balls coming after the, the Frankenstein monster? Hey, if I saw moving toys attacking each other, I would throw golf balls at them, too. Yeah, that'd be a pretty good idea, right? I'd just squish them with my boot. Eh, uh, that's less creative. Yeah. Less chance of dodging, and now we're going down the sewer. Because we all float down here. Five points if you get this reference. Anyway, these guys, they just infinitely spawn out of the sewer pipe here, so... You can sit here all day farming them for points and lives, but why would you do that? Is that a Ninja Turtles reference from earlier? Uh, nope. Aw, uh, that was just a guess. It is a guess. As to not spoil the viewer, I will inform you of the reference after this little recording's done, Mr. Metrixit. The viewer? Oh god, you should not just do that. I'm sorry, we're not, we're, we're done, we're done. We're done. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna fight some fish, man. I completely forget that ever happened as we sail on a soda can down a river of sludge. I'm going to call it sludge. I'm not going to call it what everyone would think of when they think sewer, because that's just nasty. It makes sense, though. It makes sense, but this is a kid's game. I think. Nah. It's short and easy and based on a toy line, so it's a kid's game. Yeah. Alright, it's time for the third boss. It's the Kraken! Johnny Depp, eat your heart out. Yep. Simple guy, just jump in, get away from the tentacle, and jump out. Except... <coughs> If you're on the right side, you want to jump out a little earlier because his tentacle can sometimes pop up at the last second and it'll hurt you. So you gotta be careful. Still can't believe you did that thing. I'm sorry. I, I was oh, you said the word. You, you said the word. I said the word. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, well, you couldn't help it. <laughs> Don't criticize me for it. Criticize Matt. <laughs> and I'm bringing that up because this is a pretty cut and dry boss fight. Just slice, slice, jump, jump, slice. Ow, I got hit. Lap, 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 lap. You heard me saying he has buck teeth, right? Just, just oh, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah. This thing has buck teeth, apparently. <laughs> Come on, die already. Do you really have to take this long? Even though we all know this is pre-recorded, why is he taking so long? Also, shit, I only have one hit left. Spoilers, I kill him. I spoiled it. Really? I spoiled that just as I did it too. I kind of did this. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot I was going to do. Would you believe we're halfway through the game level-wise, but only a third through the video? Mm-hmm. Stage four, towering catastrophe. Apparently, Timmy Monster Pants lives down the road from a construction site thingy. What if it's not a kid and it's some really fat guy that likes to play with toys and he's a construction worker? Hmm, that could explain a lot, especially considering the fifth level. A big pocket. A very big pocket. These tack things you gotta double jump over. Ugh. And this hook. I don't like this hook. Now you'll think you know you think someone's something's gonna come at you with these spikes here, and it's witches it in teacups. Oh no! Don't you remember, Matt? Medusa heads are later. That, I'm trying to make it like as if that never happened. Uh. <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> we all know it did because you're not because it's not a genuine reaction anyway, and that should have killed that witch. It really should have. Like the bottom of my claw was there. Wow. Another life. And these guys are crap because you, they take like three hits to kill and they shoot that grapply hook thing at you. And if they hit you with that, you're going off into that pit. So you get a ton, you jump right, jump in as they extend it, and then mash B like a son of a bitch. Like a son of a bitch! Tapping on controller done for dramatic effect. Again, you just had it there handy for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's just right here, next to me. I've got everything on my desk in a nice, orderly fashion. I know where it all is. And now we have drop-kicking goblins. <coughs> and, appa 
And apparently my throat gets all dry and scratchy when I talk for extended periods of times. Ah! Ah? I just didn't check the horse joke. Oh my god. Oh, I... No, I didn't hear it because I was talking about my throat. Oh, okay. I hope no one hears it heard that because that was just the worst thing I could have said. Oh dear. Ch ah. <laughs> Wash my mouth out with soap. Just as long as you don't make any references to anything being over a certain number. No problem. Eh. Goody. And we're past the uh, drop kicking goblins of fun. Now we got to the uh, chimeras? I'm gonna call them chimeras for now. Chimeras are dogs though. <coughs> I thought chimeras were like lions and dragony bits. I'm pretty sure they're three headed dogs. Those are Cerberuses. Oh, oh, oh. And here are the Medusa heads, and they're not nearly as threatening as their Castlevania variants. They just and you get hurt as soon as you say that. Well, yeah, but they're not nearly as threatening. I get hurt by Medusa heads too, but the difference is when you get hurt by Medusa heads, you fall into a pit and die. Good point. Choo, choo, choo. It's just point farming. Part. Well, we're almost at the boss, who's is also the most annoying boss ever. Mm -hmm. Annoying, not necessarily being hard. The bosses in this game aren't really hard. Anyway, it's the gremlin. He shoots balls at you and goes on this crane hook thing, whatever the hell you want to call it. Wait, who exactly is operating this crane? The monsters? The monsters? Why don't you just go beat up the monsters in the crane instead of just fighting this guy riding the crane? Because they're flying monsters and they'll run away and I don't know. Oh. Uh, it's a video this is, game. Yes. Look at this pathetically trying to make sense of a game where you're a one foot tall, not even one foot tall, like six inch tall Frankenstein monster beating up a gremlin on a crane. And here we are trying to make sense of this. A kickable gremlin. Yeah. Yes. Just With. Love kick it. Yes. Punt the thing down the street. Punt. And I punted it off the crane hook thing, whatever you want to call it. It's crane. Oh, I had to pause there because I was briefly bothered in recording. And would you believe we're at the last two levels of the game, yet we're only halfway through the video. Gasp. Gasp. This level is a pain because of the enemies. These. What did you call them? Um, they're the. The little flying goblins and Egyptian sphinx head. Yeah. Sphinx. Except this I is. I wanted to say a word, but I don't. I'm not gonna say it. This is Oriental illusion. They're supposed to be like Asian. I think the goblins might be. What? what, what I, I. The name is drawing a blank. Tangus. Tangus. They might be Tangus. Tang Those are oh. like Japanese demons. Oh. Like Tengu Man. That's how I know that. <laughs> Tengu. That sounds funny. Sorry. I am not going to make the obvious joke about saying something to an enemy, a witty one-liner, as I throw this large metal object at them. You know the obvious pun, don't you? You know what? I'm having such a brain fart.